I'm patting down my sunflowers you can see right here. I'm uh, drying them out. I just harvested a bunch. Um, from this, uh, right over here you can see I got a very, very small sunflower patch or garden or whatever you want to call them. Look at these babies though. You know, the funny thing about sunflowers is they're so beautiful in the uh, when they're uh, growing before they uh, start getting heavy like this. Look at the way they sag. See them sagging? Well, when I when you pull on them like that, they're going to sag, but just naturally look at them sag. Uh, you kind of feel bad for them, but they are a paradox to me because what's cool about sunflowers is they're, uh, when they're in full bloom, before they get heavy with seeds, they're beautiful. Ever go by a sunflower uh, field and uh, the sunflowers are just gorgeous. They're looking toward the sun, they're basking in the sun like, uh, like they're trying to catch a tan. And uh, they're, the, the colors are vibrant and thousands and thousands of thousands of them. But then when they get ready to be picked, look at them like this, they start losing their leaves. Uh, the, the backs of them get all brown. This one's not brown. As you can see, this a little is getting brown right there, see? That's a good sign. That's a good sign for picking. And they lose all their petals. These start falling off. Look at this. But the cool thing is, some flowers, like, uh, a lot of the things that I advocate are really healthy for you. <laughs> These have a very good source of protein and fiber. And uh, when you're a vegetarian like me, or just anybody who's looking for healthy eating, uh, vegetable protein and high fiber is the way to go. These babies pack a lot in a small amount. And not only that, of course, there's no cholesterol in them. Uh, they're also one of the healthiest oils. Uh, olive oil is my number one oil, but sunflower seed, uh, or sunflower, I guess the sunflower seed oil, uh, they get it, they press the seeds. Uh, it's one of the healthiest oils you can have. Now there's a spider right there. Can you get that on camera? That's pretty cool. Hopefully you can see that one. I'm just going to mean I'm going to move. <laughs> sunflower oil is one of the healthiest oils you can have. And sunflowers are versatile. Uh, I think they're taken for granted. What's the most common way uh, sunflowers are used? Well, uh, they're uh, good for uh, alternative to nuts, and they're, you see them a lot in salads. They're very good. My wife can't make a salad at a salad bar without uh, adding a handful of sunflowers, and they're very healthy for you. Um, they're good for salads. They're good in uh, baking. They're really good for, you know, in cookies or in any, kind of, uh, any kind of sweet baking where you can put some, uh, put a little crunch in there. And, well, I can't think of sunflowers without thinking of uh, Major League Baseball players. They're sitting out there, and they got their... Their mouths all full of sunflowers, and, and they're like magicians with those, uh, with those seeds. They, they, they put like 50 in their mouth. They got a big chaw there. Here's a little guy. And that they can open them with their teeth and spit them out at the same time, which to me is uh, almost as impressive as those guys trying to hit a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. See this one right here? See how black and uh, he looks like all, he looks like he's just ready to die. Guess what? He's ready to be plucked. And that's the best part. So you look right here, right here, and you can see when they're like this, they're ready for harvesting, like right there. There's the key right there, see? When the seeds get those stripes on them, as you can see right there, the stripe, see the black stripe on there? You can see it right there. That's a good thing. That means that this guy, as pathetic as he looks right now, is ready to be consumed, to be used uh, in all its sunflower uh, splendor. So to me, sunflowers are kind of a paradox. They're gorgeous and beautiful when uh, they're empty of seeds and sad and forlorn and uh, kind of depressed looking when they're full of uh, plump, juicy, ready to be plucked seeds. But no matter how you slice it, sunflowers are really healthy for you. What are some more of the health benefits? Sunflowers are a good source of potassium, phosphorus, vitamin E, and all-important calcium. I don't drink a lot of milk. In fact, I don't think I drink any milk except for some soy milk. This is a good way to get your calcium. Um, also, a good source for vegetable protein, which is always something I'm looking for, and uh, a pretty good source for fiber. What's not the like? I just cooked up a batch of sunflowers. But the only negative thing I can say about sunflowers, seeds, and I'm going to tell you right now, is they're so small, they're, they're hard to get at. But guess what? That's one of the reasons why they're probably a healthy snack because you can't just sh shovel them down your throat, but you can, you can buy them already shelled, so. 
But it's okay if you eat a lot of them. Why? Because, as I've mentioned before, they're a good source of vegetable protein. They're high in fiber. They're really high in vitamin E, which is um, good for your skin, good for a lot of what ails you. They'll actually help fight cancers. They're high in magnesium, which is good for lowering blood pressure uh, and help strengthen your bones. They're uh, high in a, a chemical called uh, choline, which actually uh, is good for your brain. So I think I better eat like an extra an extra handful, and also uh, selenium, which helps uh, to fight a lot of cancers. Sunflower seeds, easy to grow, easy to harvest, easy to eat. Why? Because they taste delicious. Until next time. Ah, I got that one. No, I dropped that. Peace. There you go.